I will go for Idol versus Hero because we haven't seen Risei in a while, and I enjoyed playing as her. She's following after school. What is this? It's just like the TV world. What was your first hit? I don't have the words to describe how much the school has changed. The building itself looks about the same, but on top of it is this weird tower. Now that I'm seeing it up close, it's really creepy. P1 Climax? So someone's holding one of those events in the real world? Yeah. It was fine last time since I wasn't participating, but I bet I'm in the same boat as everyone else now. Jeez, I hope I don't get stuck with a weird name like theirs. It's hard to see near the top because the fog is so thick, but I wonder if everyone's already inside the school building. Come, Persona! I follow up my consciousness, concentrating my efforts on the inside of the school. I had expected the interference to be this bad. Still, I'm sure I can do this now. As I concentrate harder, almost like I'm praying, a faint voice echoes in my mind. Fuka. It's not coming from inside the school. On instinct, I run to where the voice was coming from and charge right into the gym. Of course she's in the gym. It's a total mess in here. Carelessly placed filming equipment, folding chairs stacked into the ceiling, you name it. I look toward the stage in the midst of the creeping red fog, where I see an even more shocking sight. Focus on! On the center of the stage is the prop like cross. Focus on is crucified on it like she's being held up to public ridicule. Why is Yukari already knocked out? Where's Kenneth then? She doesn't look well at all and she's breathing in gasps. Who would do such a horrible thing to her? Near the cross is a person in pink clothes collapsed on the ground. It's, it seems like she's the one Fukasan is calling to so desperately. Fukasan, hang on, I'll come free you! Risei-san? No, don't! You have to stay back! You don't tell me how to live my life? After Fukasan notices me and cries out, I sense an odd presence and stop. Soon afterwards, a number of arrows pierce the ground in front of me, giving off sparks. That's close. What's going on here? Huh. Looks, Looks like, like you have a good sense for these things. No wonder you're their backup. I can't believe my eyes. It's fr from that live action show on the air now called Featherman Victory. What? Feather Pink? I don't get what's going on here at all. But actually, taking a closer look, there's something about the stage Fukasan's on. It's a stage from that club escapade on Port Island. On top of worrying about the girl collapse on the ground, now I've got some kind of costumed hero attacking me. Is this a hidden camera thing? No, Rizei-san! That's... Uh, Fukasan! It's clearly a shadow. Look at her eyes. Fukasan's brow creases in pain as she tries to explain something to me. I don't really understand, but I'm getting a nasty feeling about that cross. All I know is that Fukasan is in a lot of pain and that I need to rescue her as quickly as possible. But when I try to approach the cross, Feather Pink gets in my way. Please move aside. I need to free her. Then that makes us enemies. I hope you're prepared to show this fiend. I, Feather Pink, shall strike you down. Risei-san, please run. You have to get help! Risei's strong enough to beat the shit out of Yukari. No, thanks Fukasan, but it's okay, I can fight now. That's why I have this power, so I can be useful to everyone. Yeah, Elizabeth Awakened, you're fighting Persona. Then we may as well get started. Bring on the ring! Yes, she said it. When Feather Pink raises her right hand, like a costumed hero's finishing move, glowing red pillars descend to surround us. At the same time, the gym's red curtain falls, hiding the escapade stage. I can't hear Fukasan's voice anymore, or, or even sense her. He's in quiet at last. Now, are you ready? Persona! Huh? 
Wait a second, she can use a persona? Isn't that a little on the heavy side from our first fight? Your first fight was against Elizabeth! Did you forget that already? Feather Pink attacks right on cue. And it's not a practice attack like in shows, but a full force movement to kill. I shrink away, managing to dodge. She's really showing no mercy. Once again, I feel the fear an actual battle puts into you, but my senpai fought through these feelings. I get a little twinge in my chest from the guilt. I'm different now, though. I can do this, too. Persona. Because that's not what she has to deal with anymore. <laughs> oh, the burn. That hurt because I know Feather Pink is right. No matter how much I say that's not how it is, and that I don't want to be like that anymore, the truth is the truth. My ideals aren't easily understood by others. All the same, I'm past pretending my flaws don't exist. All I can do is accept them without letting them defeat me and keep trying my best. I won't make any excuses. You're right. But no matter what you Oh, say, enough I of the pity party with Rise. Jesus. It's actually getting on my nerves now. Man, we get to use Rise again, so. Ooh, it's gonna hurt. I'm charmed? Should not be out of that pack. Oh my god, please. This fucking pack. Wrecked. Oh my god. Rise commentating her own fight? Really? Really? Is that necessary? When the battle ends and Feather Pink collapses to the gymnasium floor, the red pillars surrounding us shatter as well. Well, that takes care of her. Goodbye, Yukari Shadow. Soon afterwards, what used to be Feather Pink melts and disappears while spinning out some kind of shining powder. It Persona fragments. Was she a shadow? As I stand stunned at the sight before me, the curtain rises again without a sound. That's right, Fukusan. I clamber up onto the stage and use my Persona to release her from the cross. Fukusan, are you alright? Mm hmm. Thank you, Risei san. So you can fight with your Persona now? That's amazing. We can thank Elizabeth. Oh, that's right, Yukari chan. Risei san, she needs your help more than I do. She guarded me and. You mean that lady in pink? Okay, one sec. Can Risei cast healing spells? Fukusan seems really exhausted. Speaking at all is hard for her in this state. I help up the person in pink who's collapsed a little ways away, and I'm surprised at what I see. Wait a minute, this is Yukari-san? But she's the same as the feather pink I just defeated. Huh? Where's the pink me? I have to save Fuka! Wait a minute, huh? Thank goodness, looks like she's come too. So, was that a fake Yukari-san earlier? I don't really understand what's going on, but if Fukusan is worried about her, she can't be an enemy, right? Yukari-chan, Risei-san here saved me. I'm sorry for what you went through because of me. Again, oh, being it's useless. Okay. I'm sorry I worried you too. I got caught totally off guard. Um, Risei-san? Thanks. Whoa, wait! Are you the real Rosette? You're so thin, and look at how small your face is! Oh, yeah. Um, I still don't really understand what's going on here. 
After we introduce ourselves, Ikari-san, whose full name is Ikari Takiba, and Fukasan tell me everything leading up to this point. It seems Fukasan's group was on the move to Inaba after picking up an abnormal shadow reading here, but the enemy ambushed them and they were captured. Yukari-san is a shadow operative too, so she rushed to Inaba with Lapras and some others to rescue Mitsuri-san's group. It sounds like the enemy is using shadows to make fake versions of us and forcing us to fight them. They also mentioned that what's happening in Inaba right now is a lot like something called the Dark Hour, a phenomenon Yukari-san and Fukasan dealt with once. I'm starting to get a grasp of what's going on, but it's happening so quickly that I feel like my head is going to burst. What should I do now? Fukasan says her power was being drained while she was crucified, so she's pretty exhausted. I'm worried about Yukari-san's wounds too, and I'm feeling a little lightheaded from the constant fighting. After a brief gap in the conversation, Fukasan instantly speaks up. By the way, why are you dressed like that, Yukari-chan? It looks really well made. Huh? You're just noticing this now? Well, there's something of a story behind it. I've worn costumes from time to time too, but that one's pretty cool. It's pink and cute. Maybe I should try wearing it in a show. Oh my Transformation god. Transformation activate! Feather change! Or something like that. What a pro. You're pretty focused on work, aren't you? Say, didn't I hear that you're making a comeback? They're all just talking insanely casually right now? Homework and idol work. <laughs> you can say that again, but I don't mind so much since I have fun with all of it. That's so cool. High school girls sure are spirited. I am. You're only a couple years older. <laughs> you work hard too, you know, Yukari-chan. Nah, I just do some modeling here and there. It just so happened I got the feather pink roll in an audition. Oh, you're a model? Wait, and you're the real feather pink? Wow, that's incredible. I'm so jealous of how great you look. Do you have to watch what you eat too? Oh, of course. Oh, speaking of food, I found this great place that serves delicious lunch specials the other day. This casual conversation seems no, so out of place. Not the time to talk about that stuff. I was gonna say <laughs> that was insanely casual. I'm cutting on my senses and we can't help but laugh. This isn't a place to have fun and indulge in girl talk. But I think it was also a good distraction in a way. I can't be indecisive about what to do next. If Fukasan and I are here, then what I need to do is already decided. I'll try searching around here. Fukasan, will you help me out? Mm-hmm, of course. I'm alright now. Looks like Fukasan couldn't use her persona at all while on that cross, since it kept draining her strength. Maybe that cross can rob us of the strength of heart our personas draw on. Once Fukasan calms her breathing, she begins searching first. I sense that last time she did this too, but a powerful yet very kind feeling covers the area. I don't know exactly where, but I sense someone nearby. It seems your friends are here as well, Risei-san. Senpai's here? Great! I knew they'd get here! They have to be way higher up at this point. Is, I still think we should meet up with them. It might be hard by myself, but... Fukasan reaches out her hand to me. I take it and open my heart. Our hearts synchronize, and a warmth I've never felt before pours into me. Whoa, lesbians, woohoo! We may not be able to get in contact with them, but we should be able to sense where everyone is for sure. Persona. And her regular persona should come out, yeah. I found you, Senpai. And Yosuke Senpai and Chi Senpai? Yikes, who's this? It's not Teddy. It's gotta be Minazaki. a familiar presence near Aiga's and Akihiko Senpai. I think they'll be okay. Let's see where Mitsudu Senpai is. Also, Kaji's gonna meet up with I guess next. Amazing, my senses spread over incredible distances compared to usual. I'm picking up on presences one after another, both familiar and not. Hey, what's this one? Something big. Oh shit. <coughs> what feels like a sharp blade hits us, and Fukasan and I let go at the same time. What was that thing? There's something terrible here. <laughs> 